pleasure to have you here, Professor Ramon Latorre. Uh, you studied the biophysics of ion channels, and they became famous with the announcement a few days ago of the Nobel Prize in Medicine for the discovery of uh, receptors of temperature and touch, that is, uh, ion, ion channels. Would you like to comment on that? Uh, of course. Well, uh, uh, Maria, Maria Celia, uh, le let me tell you that uh, I start uh, 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 working with, with, with trip channels, with the transient receptor potential channels, mm -hmm. a long, long time ago, uh, in 2004. So uh, I, had, I had the opportunity to, to meet in different conferences and places both uh, Arden, Pataputi, and, and, and Julius. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and, and uh, in particular, I, I, I even have a paper with Arden and Pataputi. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, well, what happened is, is that these are fantastic thermodynamic machines in the sense, in the sense that you think a train, okay, that transform, okay, the heat in the, in the movement of the wheels of the train is, is the same in our case. But in our case, okay, the temperature is transformed in electrical signals that are, are understood by our brain and by our nervous system. So, it, but essentially that, that's, that, that's the marvelous thing with all ion channels is because they are the doors, doors of perception in the sense that you sense the smell, that you sense temperature, you sense I mean, touch, I mean, touch is very important, you know, <laughs> especially in love. Huh? So, 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 so say music, music is through ion channels. And so you see is, is the, is the, is the, is like the customs, okay, for perception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, they, those ion channels, those fantastic molecular machines tell you what is happening around you and in your interior, okay? Mm -hmm. your, heart, your heart, okay? Again, about love, about, about desperation or running when you're in a, a demonstration running from the police. I mean, the, the heart is pure ion channels. Yeah. So I'm, I am passionate with this. Yeah. And the reason for that is because it's, it's, it's okay, if, if you have one love, okay? If you have my wife, but the other lab is ion channels. I mean, and, and in, okay, so, sorry to eat so. <laughs> no, I, I will ask more about that because the, the, I could say that they, they control the flow of electrical signals through our bodies. So yes. that's what, what you are telling. Everything we sense or we, we do, we are, everything we are depends on ion channels. Could you explain this, uh, how this system work? Uh, yeah, well, essentially what, what happened is, is that uh, you, you, we, are, we are statistical machines. Mm -hmm. And, and, and what, what, I mean, what I mean by that is that what any stimulus, stimulus that comes from the, the the external world or the internal world, okay, is, uh, is transformed, let's say chemical energy or electrical energy, okay, or touch or temperature, okay. Those stimuli, I mean, what happened, they are transformed in an electrical signal and, and that's because, okay, there is a sensor in these proteins that sense temperature or the sense voltage or the sense pressure, okay? And this sensor, so the energy contained in this uh, kind of a stimulus, okay, is transformed in mechanical energy, what that means you open the channel. Mm -hmm. And the probability of finding the channel open or closed, conductive or not conductive, okay, is essentially depends on the strength of the stimulus. So they are probability machines, okay? The stronger the stimulus, the probability of opening of that kind of channel is, is greater. Okay, that's that's the way that they work. Okay, mm -hmm. so they have sensors. They have sensors for different things. Mm -hmm. 
could you talk a little about your research on the structure and functions of molecular sensors? I, I... It, regarding about the structures, I mean, that's, you see, in that sense, I mean, one characteristic of, of all these channels is, uh, uh, is that they are mod mod modular proteins, okay? Mm -hmm. They have modules, okay? So one part of the protein is the sensor, okay? That sends the stimulus. And a different, the di a different domain of the protein is the pore in the mm -hmm. sense that, that the opening and closing of that pore is controlled by the stimulus. Yes. And the communication, there is a coupling between the sensor and the activation of the, or, or, or the opening of the pore. So that's mm. essentially the, the whole story. I mean, but there are many sensors, okay? Mm. And, and in particular, in the, in the case of, of the case of the transient receptor potential channel, that's fantastic because, okay, the, you have one channel, TB1, okay? This is a vanilloid receptor. And that, that particular channel is fantastic because uh, it sends temperature. Every time that uh, the temperature goes above 42 degrees, you start opening the channel. But also that particular channel is the receptor of capsaicin. And capsaicin is the active component of chili pepper. Mm. And that's the reason when you eat a chili pepper, you get hot, okay? Because it's essentially a temperature receptor. Mm -hmm. on, the, on the other hand, for example, the, 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 that's also found, it was found by, by, by Arden Pataputian and, and Julius, you have cold receptors, okay? Mm -hmm. And these kind of channels, when the temperature goes down, they start opening, okay? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, that kind of channel that opens with cold temperatures, okay, is the receptor for menthol. Menthol. So that's the reason menthol. So mm -hmm. when that's the reason when you eat, you eat the mint mint pepper in the in the in the movies, okay, you, yes. you get cold, no. Uh -huh. So the, it's 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 a fantastic field. Mm -hmm. I imagine there are many, many applications, but could you talk a little bit about the, the practical uh, applications of this uh, research? Oh, well, I, I, am, I, I am a basic scientist, okay? I, I love to understand mechanism, but, uh -huh. okay. But, okay, but this is, but once you understand the structure of the channels and, and you understand how they work, okay? Mm -hmm. They, they 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 can transform in, in 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 you can you can hit them with with drugs because you know the structure and you can you can you can modify their activity mm -hmm. but in terms of in terms of of uh, 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 applications now we know there is um, an immense amount of what we call channelopathies okay mm -hmm. channels that are mutated and they produce terrible effects especially in the hearts, in the heart, for example, the long QT, the, the long Q, QT is a problem that produces essentially a lot of, a lot of death, mm -hmm. okay? Because the heart fails, okay? So, and that's, that's produced because either sodium or potassium channels are not working properly, mm -hmm. okay? And now in order to, to, to improve the working of the heart, there is a drug, Nifedipine, for example, that is again arrhythm, arrhythmias in the heart. Mm -hmm. So you, then, then, then you have one, one drug. In the case, one important point regarding Julius and, and, and Arden is that what not, they not only found temperature receptors, but they are also pain receptors. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they, they, will, they, 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 they are, I mean, the place to study to ameliorate the problem of pain. And the problem of pain is, is, is you know, in cancer and, and all kinds of different yes. diseases, is, 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 is the pain is, is, is not part of, of the, uh, the problem, is, is a problem in itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I imagine you could talk about ion channels the whole day, 
but I will change a little bit the, the subject. Yeah, perfect. Uh, <laughs> how, uh, why, why did you become a scientist? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, why am I, that's, that's, you see, when, 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 I, when I was a boy, uh, I, I read a book that is uh, hunters of microbial, micro, of, of, uh, of my, I mean bacteria, hunt, hunter of, of, of different diseases, okay? And, 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 and so I, I was, I, I mean, I had a tremendous impression with that book. I mean, how, I mean, the people that invented uh, vaccination, Pasteur, and, 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 and all the different guys that, that worked there. And uh, that, that, that I have that book in what part of my, 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 my bed, and the other one was Emilio Salgari. Mm -hmm. so, I, so I want to be an adventurer rather than a scientist. So I, so I was divided uh, mm -hmm. during all my life what actually to do. Uh, and the reason why I end up being a scientist is because uh, uh, it appears uh, a person, uh, 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 uh that was, oh, one of my mentors, okay, mm -hmm. then convinced me that science, I mean, uh, was part of the culture. Mm -hmm. It was not only, and an, an, it was not only that the gift technology, but actually is not different from poetry or from painting or from mm -hmm. creating, you know? Creation is, uh, is the same in science as it's the same in art or in humanities. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that touched my heart. And that's the reason why I'm here. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> in, in your view, uh, what strategies can be uh, adopted to promote science in developing countries? Oh, mm -hmm. well, <laughs> this first tries to convince our politicians that science, science is important, mm -hmm. and that's yes. extremely difficult. Yes. Uh, uh, our budgets are, are mean, I mean, budgets of poverty, I mean, really are miserable. Uh, uh, so in that sense, well, we create, for example, uh, a ministry of science, but still the budget is, uh, is, 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 is extremely small compared, compared with the budget of developed countries. Mm -hmm. And my, my impression is that uh, one way that can, circumvent the problem of the politicians is convincing convincing the people okay? mm -hmm. so it's going if the scientist goes to the street and the scientists start start uh communicate communicating mm -hmm. what they are doing in in in, in a i mean in 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 a way that is uh, kind is uh, is understandable by anyone mm -hmm. So once you have a culture inside the, 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 the people, the citizens, I mean, I mean that you can have uh, a base, a human, I mean, a, a common communication with, with, I mean, with the rest of, the, of, of your countrymen, okay? That they understand that this is important because first it's beautiful. And second, it, 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 it changed the knowledge is everything, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the telephone, the telephone that I have in my hand is mm -hmm. produced because some, in, some physicists give the basis to invent the transistors, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and convince the people the GPS that we use every day yes. now, okay? I mean, without the theory of relativity, there is yes. no GPS. Yes. Okay? Yes. So the, the, the things that are more abstract, like relativity, is already being applied. Mm -hmm. Now we are thinking in quantum computers, okay? Mm -hmm. And quantum mechanics is the most abstruse thing in the world. I mean, nobody understands in quantum mechanics, and we are doing computers. Mm -hmm. So, so that and and and, you, and and I mean, now at least here in Chile, what is happening? Some of the scientists are going to the street and really are convocating a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So that, I think that's the only way that 
the politicians are convinced that if you support science, I mean, maybe you can get more votes. Yes. Huh? Yes, we, we are needing this here in Brazil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how important is it for you to participate in this 20th IUPAB Congress in Brazil, though virtually? Well, you see what happened. Uh, I am a very old person, okay. So I I I love I love uh, 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 to be near the 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 rest of my fellow scientists. Mm -hmm. uh, this the virtual thing, what happened is is for me is to call. But this meeting has been extremely well organized. I, I have not I'm not complaining, okay. Uh, in, in regard of the organization and how it has been done, how, how the information has been transmitted, everything. But 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 still, I mean, because maybe of my age is is that nothing is going to replace. I mean, the possibility of getting uh, having a coffee with your friend that you have known for the last twenty years, or with a brilliant scientist that blew your mind with the talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and that's that's uh, I mean, I think it's irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but, but this has been a great meeting. <laughs> uh, what's your advice for young scientists? Oh, <laughs> advice, <laughs> yeah. The first thing, <laughs> okay, uh, well, maybe is to be in the right place at the right moment, okay. Mm -hmm. At the right time, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the, 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 the the first thing is that to choose the right mentor. Okay, mm -hmm. mentors are everything, I think. Okay, mm -hmm. the right mentor that can really make an equilibrium between helping the the, the student to 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 be successful, but also leaving the student to be free to think and to do their own projects. Mm. Okay. Uh, the second thing is, is uh, to to write to, to choose the right problem. Okay? okay, and that's that's extremely difficult. It's not it's not simple. In my case, for example, I mean just pure serendipity. I went to the National Institute of Health, and the, in the moment that I mean we were for the first time measuring single the activity of single ion channels, okay? And so I, I was in the right place at the right time, okay? And I have the right mentors. Mm -hmm. So those, those are the things that you must look, at. You, must, you must have the imagination. See, but the most important thing is that to do what you really like, okay? No matter what they say, they say, no, this is all science or whatever, this is finished. No, it's not true. Nothing, mm -hmm. no problem in science is finished, okay? But, the, uh, but, but, but by the end by the end of the 19th century, I mean they say Newton finished all the physics, all the physics, okay? Yes. And uh, oh man, now, now you yes. know. <laughs> and, and then and then in the case of electrophysiology, okay, mm -hmm. that when I started in the field, they say Hodgkin and Huxley that did the, that uh, uncovered the ionic basis of the action potential in, mm -hmm. in the nervous system, okay. They did everything, okay, and 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 you can see, okay, after Hawking and Huxley, we have a Nobel Prize that was Erwin Neher and Bert Sagman for the invention of the patch clamp. Then there was another Nobel Prize, Rod McKinnon, for the extraction of ion channels, and now it's Alden Pataputian and and uh, and and Julius, and, and 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 then you see nothing is finished. It's just to have the right imagination to make a breakthrough. Because, because the most fantastic thing in science is that nobody's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, it has been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure to be talking with you. And, and, and sorry, maybe, maybe sometimes I, 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 get, I, I get too excited. <laughs>